there is a certain attentiveness needed when standing thigh deep in current, fly rod in hand, hoping a thin piece of invisible line will connect me to a surging fish. I'm aware of insects hovering over the water, bouncing off branches, crawling around my feet. I am mindful of the movements of feeding birds, of changes in the wind and passing cloud shadows. I must be alert to the tiniest dimples in the current or the crunching footsteps of a bear approaching along the gravel shoreline. Of the evening sky, Reading, like fishing, requires and indeed fosters a similar attentiveness. We live in an age of internet facts and mistakenly confuse those for knowledge or wisdom. It's a vastly different thing to engage in a story or poem or essay that invites our imaginations into all sorts of connections and depths emerging from sustained attention. Like fishing and reading, writing also cultivates attentiveness. A good story demands that I, as the author, listen to its characters, pay attention to its world, and then humbly submit to whatever they tell me. Crafting a creative essay or work of fiction requires that I pay attention to every word, every metaphor, as though it were an insect emerging from the bottom of my thought stream, swimming to the surface, drying its newly released wings, and flying away. And it seems like you stand so little chance. Or perhaps those words are returning to settle on the water lay their eggs, get sipped in by a feeding trout. Writing, like fishing, is not so much an expression of what I already know, but an act of attentive learning. Soft love.